All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is John Wayne. Uh, today, I'm going to work on my first ever product review. When I got a client that comes to me and they got a product or a service that seems like it's going to be huge, um, I want to start doing reviews on them. And this product uh, that I'm going to talk about here in a minute is going to be huge. I, I, I foresee. Um, it's being tested right now by some major manufacturers. Um, can't really say at this point until the testing's over. It's already been purchased by some large corporations. I uh, can't really say at this point. Um, well, I could give you a hint. It may be a, a large company that um, I use a lot in, uh, in my day-to-day -day operations. Um, but let's go ahead and get to the, get to the review. So, it's called the HTF Compact. Uh, until now, water has been the best option as a medium for transferring heat in hydronic systems. Water conducts heat effectively, however, there are many other substances that conduct heat faster. A prime example is metal. Copper, for example, conducts heat more than 600 times faster than water. So in simple terms, how do we get water to perform more like metal? With nanothermo technology, HTF. When freeze protection is required, glycol, which is your typical freeze protection uh, you've found in antifreeze, will inhibit the heat transfer of the water. Depending on the glycol type and the concentration, it could be 20% or more, uh, causing both an energy increase and system capacity reduction. Now, in layman's terms, my, um, when I was a kid, my uncle raced cars. And uh, he would put antifreeze in the race car to keep it from overheating, but the antifreeze being thicker than water created more um, more um, resistance and, and in fact took away some of his horsepower. So he was always fooling around with putting different chemicals in his antifreeze to make the antifreeze not as thick, I guess, but I mean this is, we're talking, I mean I'm old, so what is that? Okay, HDF Compact has a high performing heat transfer additive that contains nano-sized particles in stable suspension installed in a base fluid and increases the convection heat transfer of the base fluid. It's formulated for use in water, uh, ethylene glycol, EG, or propylene glycol, PG, and uh, thermin oil, VP1, for new and existing closed-loop systems. Nanoparticles are cubic oxide, CuO, uh, which means they're less than 30 nanomites in size will not harm equipment, piping systems, gaskets, or valve and, and pump seals. How HDF Compact works. Heat energy is transferred between a surface and a moving fluid. In addition to increasing the fluid surface area, the nanoparticles settle into the microscopic crevices of the tubing walls. These crevices now contain a highly convective material, greatly increasing convective heat transfer at the tubing wall. Red hues designate hot areas while regions in blue air hues are cold. A hot, less dense, lower boundary layer sends plumes of hot material upwards, and likewise, cold material from the top moves downwards, depending on the fluid viscosity. Flow velocity at the boundary can also be as low as zero. High energy utilization industries benefit from using HDF Compact because uh, in data centers it allows a lower PUE. Uh, in power generation plants it can decrease uh, parasitic loads. In pharmaceutical, it can increase the energy recovery. In oil and gas refinery fields, it can increase heat rejection and recovery. In food processing, it can increase heat recovery. Uh, Cogeneration plants can increase waste heat utilization. Healthcare facilities can reduce reheat energy. And institutional facilities can have 24-7 occupied facilities. And that's it in a nutshell, guys. I'm thinking this is going to be a big one. Uh, once they get through the testing phases and, uh, and really run with this thing, I'll keep you informed let you know how it's going. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and share. I'm John Wayne. Uh, if you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, you should. So you get all my videos on a regular basis as they come out. And uh, let me know if you guys want to sell to the government or product or service. That's what I'm here for. I'll help you. I will talk to you then. Thanks. Bye.